What is happening gamers? This is Bradley here and welcome back to another episode of Bugging Bradley where you get to bug me through your questions and I get the unfortunate privilege of answering them. Noah asks, may you reenact your favorite Indiana Jones scene with that fedora? Don't mind if I do. That's no moon. That's a nuclear bomb. Quick Shia, to the refrigerator. Cripes! Jesse Ballard on Twitter asks, what was your favorite movie this year besides Star Wars? And what is your favorite GBA game? Well, what came out this year? I might be forgetting something, but my favorite besides Star Wars might either be The Martian or Ant-Man. Probably The Martian though, The Martian was pretty good. As for my favorite GBA game, I need to go check what GBA games I have, so be right back. I'm back. So after uh, pondering over my GBA games a little bit, I came to the conclusion that this one might be my favorite. It's the Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Oh, and I almost forgot that I have GBA games on my 3DS, and Metroid Fusion is pretty awesome. Plague Mask Guy on Twitter asks, do the Harlem Shake. <laughs> Thomas on Twitter asks, Will you ever stream on Twitch? If so, what game would you want to stream first? Currently, no, but I would like to. Mainly the biggest reason why I'm not is my internet speed. I don't think it would be a smooth experience. My upload speed is like 0.4, which is pretty atrocious, and I can't even watch Twitch streams as it is. For like every 5 seconds, it buffers for 20 seconds. It's annoying. If I did stream though, I would like to do a game that isn't very story heavy, but on the flip side might be a bit more difficult. So I was thinking, how about Dark Souls? I think that would be pretty fun to stream. Dan Dominate asks, Wubba Dub Dub, is that true? Whoa, you go big guy. Jason the Vessel on Twitter asks, What do you expect to come out of the Club Nintendo replacement, My Nintendo? Honestly, I think My Nintendo is going to be pretty similar to Club Nintendo, just streamlined, like maybe getting rid of the codes, which would be nice and also being able to earn points for playing games, which is downright awesome. As for the rewards, I think those will be pretty similar to Club Nintendo, like physical rewards like t-shirts, posters, and so forth, and also digital games, which is something they pushed quite a bit towards the end of Club Nintendo's lifespan. So we'll probably get a lot of digital games, which I think is an awesome reward. So I'm not expecting it to be too fancy. If it is fancy, that's just a plus. Angel Rivera on Twitter took the time to write down 50 questions. That's some serious dedication, sir. I do have a question about number 48 though. Are you a lollycon? Whatever that is. Lollycon, lollyconcon, lolikon? I don't know. Is it some anime thing? It's probably anime. Oh. That's what it means. Duncan Pratt on Twitter asks, Who is Turd Ferguson? Only the greatest person ever to play Jeopardy. <laughs> Look him up. Splatness Inkling on Twitter asks, Analog stick or D-pad when playing platformers? This is an interesting question, and for me, it can depend on the game or the controller. If it's a 2D platformer and you can actually duck in the game, I like using a D-pad for that because if I'm using a joystick, I can accidentally hit the duck button when trying to go left or right. But it can also depend on the controller. If it's a 360 controller, I don't like using the D-pad on that thing. But if it's a 3DS or a Wii U gamepad, I do like using the D-pad. Overall though, I do prefer using a D-pad for platformers. It feels like you have more precision that way. Splatness Inkling also asks, mustache or sideburns? Well, you tell me. Colin Gorman on Twitter asks, would you rather have Batman as a father or Zelda as a sister? Well, after thinking about it on the toilet, I came to the conclusion that I'd rather have Batman as a father, because he's Batman. And then I can tell him all about Spider-Man. Andy something something on Twitter asks, What do you expect at E3 2016 from Nintendo? Well, I'm gonna go the easy route and say the NX. They're gonna show that baby off, maybe show some tech demos, get you to play those, say they're not actually games, even though they might actually be games in development. Remember New Super Mario Bros. Me? And also, we're gonna get Zelda Wii U. They're gonna show that baby off, have it playable on the show floor, and also announce Pikmin 4. Mark my words, it's happening. Ryan Time on Twitter asks, What is a man? Long, long lost descendant of a Wookiee. A pitiful sack of meat. A scaly lizard. Trump's mom. Metal Guy 40 on Twitter asks, Will there be an art gallery of your fabulous face in a video? Sackchum342 on Twitter asks, 
A plane crashes on the border of the US and Canada. Where do you bury the survivors? I had an answer to this question, but then I read the question again. Where do I bury the survivors? Which means they survived. This means they're not dead. Trying to make me a murderer? But really, all you have to do is cut each person in half, and one half goes to the US, and one half goes to Canada. You're welcome. Christopher Davis on Twitter asks, Do you sing in the shower? You don't think that you can sing it fast, then you're wrong. It would help if you just sing a... <coughs> Mega Agent 2001 on Twitter asks, What was your favorite indie game of 2015? Well, if you watched my Top 5 3DS Games of 2015 video, you might be able to deduce the answer to this question. It's Steamworld Heist. It's phenomenal! Harvey Mary Diaga on Twitter asks, Do you think it would be worth getting a PS4 just for one game? For example, Kingdom Hearts 3. If you're just going to get one game and never get anything else beyond that, then I'd say no. But let's be honest here, you're probably going to get more games beyond that. So if one game is just a catalyst for you getting a PS4, then sure, go for it. But if you do have an Xbox One, I might be a little bit more hesitant to get a PS4 as well. Ben Granger on Twitter asks, Have you tried the free-to-play Pokemon games on the 3DS? If so, how much money have you spent on them? Well, I have played most of the free-to-play Pokemon games on the 3DS. I played Pokemon Shuffle and Pokemon Pycross. I haven't played the Pokemon Rumble game though. My favorite is definitely Pokemon Pycross. And as for whether or not I spent any money on them, no, I have not. Come to think of it, I don't think I've spent any money on a free-to-play game yet. Daniel Martinez on Twitter asks, What are your least and most favorite video game cliches? Probably one of my least favorite video game cliches is the damsel in distress. That gets used quite a bit, especially in Super Mario. It's just not a very interesting concept, unless there's like a twist to it. But one cliche that I don't mind a whole lot is characters having amnesia, like in an RPG, because the characters' backstories aren't always the same. Whereas with the damsel in distress, it's always like a princess or queen getting captured, and that's pretty much it. The term cliche doesn't really have a positive connotation, so I can't really say like, oh, I just love this cliche, but like characters having amnesia is one that I can tolerate. Me Clint asks, what is your opinion on Steam slash Valve? Well, I just got myself a gaming laptop just like a couple months ago, so now I can actually play Steam games that require something a bit more powerful than a potato to run it. So, now that I can actually play a bunch of different Steam games, I am seriously loving Steam, and it's super awesome. I'm playing all these different games that I missed out on in the past, like Bioshock, Tomb Raider, Dark Souls, Super Meat Boy, and so on. And also, there's Steam sales. Mmm, the Steam sales. I got Psychonauts for $1. That's awesome. And the final question comes from Shant Gamer, and he asks, What game have you played the most in your life? If I had to guess, oddly enough, it's not a Nintendo game, but rather, Guild Wars. I spent a lot of time on that. So that will bring us to the end of the 20th episode of Bug and Bradley. If you liked what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up, add it to your favorites, and all that good stuff. If there is a question you want to ask me, leave that in the comment section below. Or you can ask me on Twitter and use the hashtag Bug and Bradley, so it's easy for me to find it. But I will talk to you later in the next video, guys. Bye! What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What?